Hi guys, welcome back at Template Redesign. In this mini-serie, I will show you how to make these two website pages. And if you want to start your own website, or just want to get better at making websites, then this video is for you. Today I'm making a mini-serie of two episodes, where I will teach you a way to promote your products. In my case, it's about selling fake plants. When I was designing this homepage and product page, I really thought this website will sell those plants. Of course, with the help of some structured SEO campaign. What do you think? Do you think this website will sell those plans? Or would you buy from this kind of website? Please let me know in the comments. As you can see, this landing page consists of a transparent header with below a main section that consists of two separate containers. The first container has a heading, a text and a button slider. The second container consists of a card carousel with two remote buttons underneath. In my next video, I will teach you how to create this beautiful product and description page. This page also consists of a header with below one container with three rows. The first row is a header with a text and two buttons. The second row consists of an image. And the third row has an awesome rotating animation. You will learn this page in my next video. So if you don't want to miss that video, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you want to download this design and just make small adjustments, you have to go to template-redesign.com and click on the download button of this design. If you don't know how that works, I recommend you to watch this video over here. In that video, I will learn you how to import and export designs from my website. Now, let's start designing. For this design, you need the pro version of unlimited elements and you need the pro version of Elementor, of course. The first thing that you need to do is to activate the content slider widget and the remote arrows from unlimited elements, like I have done here. When you have activated, you can start designing. We start with making the layout. We have one big container that contains all the other containers. Make sure that all the other containers are set to full width and that the margin and padding settings in the advanced tab are set off. The nav menu has a view height of 10 and the direction is horizontal and the justify content is set to space between. The alignment is center. The second container has a view width of 60, a view height of 50, and the item direction is vertical. The content is justified at start. Make sure that the alignment itself is set to the end. Now our content will be set to the right side of the screen. There is also a padding of 2% on the top side, so it has a little space from the header. The Z index is set to 10. This will prevent that the pictures will be covering the buttons. The third and last container are having a view width of 100 and a view height of 15. The items are aligned in the center. When you open the advanced tab container, you need to set that positioning as fixed with a vertical orientation. Now you have made sure that the elements will always be positioned at the bottom of the page. Finally, we set the Z index to 9 so it stays behind the buttons. When the layout is finished, we start with adding the logo. The logo is just a heading placed in the header. Next to the logo, we will add the nav menu. All the text typography of this page are written in Joseph Vincent's. I also want to show our potential clients at what page they are. I did that by giving the nav menu a green hover and active color effect. The second container has a heading and a text. I was making the heading bigger and more bold so it will stand out more. The buttons are actually a content slider. This is a bit more complicated but still pretty easy. From general settings I have to set the auto play and can burn effect off. The animation duration is set to 100 milliseconds. For the entrance animation I used a fade in animation and the text animation is a fade out right big animation. For the layout I have only the buttons on show. The next step is to open the connect widget settings. Here you need to enable the remote connection and the synchronization buttons. In the item tab you can link all the buttons together. I think you can start the buttons yourself. <coughs> In the last container we have the card carousel and the remote arrows. For the card carousel you can set the number of items on 4 and put the auto play on off. Make sure the center option is also on off. This way we made the picture on the left the main focused picture. 
In the layout option, you only show the image. The title can be on height. Make sure you got good pictures because the picture determines whether your design succeeds or fails. You need to do the same thing for the connected widget settings as for the content button slider. This way you will connect the buttons with the card carousel. When you go to the styling of the card carousel, you can make the pictures smaller or bigger. I've made the item smaller by setting the scale to 0.9. So all the pictures are slightly reduced in size. With the active picture, the picture on the left side of your screen, I have set the scale to 1.2. By doing this, you show your customers where to focus. Finally, you need to add the remote arrows. I have made these arrows black and set the alignment at center. You can pick any icon that you want, or you can upload one yourself. Make sure the connected widgets settings are the same as for the buttons and the card carousel. So make sure they are all sync in group one. Now the landing page is finished. As you can see, everything is working fine. The buttons are moving at the same time as the card carousel. In the next video, I will show you the product page. If you want to learn how to make that page as well, or you want to learn more beautiful elemental designs in the future, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Goodbye, and see you next time.